what I've been doing is just taking an old bit of uh, scrap wood from uh, from the shed at the back of the garden there, and just giving a bit of a giving it a bit of a bash. I'm wanting to produce a distressed um, a distressed plaque that says "Let food be thy medicine." Um, it's it's a uh, how I live my life. Um, my diet's changed heavily um, since some health issues. So, yeah, I'm going to do this for my kitchen and I thought I'd take you along with me. You probably think I'm daft doing all that and then um, sanding it back. But um, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> How do you switch it on? You know when you look at something and uh, it's very difficult to see the vision. <laughs> Let's stick with it. I didn't actually need to have the um the uh hello. hello i didn't actually need to have the oh there's the doors banging it's all going well here today i didn't <laughs> third time i didn't actually need to have a pencil mark to there's the door banging again pencil mark to trace my letters on here because it's just a soft pine so it's actually see if I don't know if you can ever see I can see it yeah. actually yeah it is marking but that um the pencil the the, the lead from the pencil is helping it stand out as well You know when I said I was making a plaque for my kitchen? I think I meant my shed. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing about me, I'll always give something a go and I never ever ever take myself too seriously. So now it's time to put some, hmm, I think I'm going to go with some dark fence paint and then I'll chalk paint it and sand it back.
Right, I want to be, I want to try and avoid it going down the letters. Uh, what do I do? Might stipple it a bit. Yeah, stipple it. Hmm. Might just have to go around them. That's a bit better. It turned out all right, really, didn't it? I am going to put it in my shed, you know. That shed is, is destined to be my allotment shed, my garden shed. So it's quite fitting. And although it's not as beautiful as I pictured in my mind, it's certainly not fit for my kitchen. <laughs> I've had a lovely afternoon. And hope you have too well about five minutes out of your day just watching me mess about with the natural sounds of a of quite an urban garden here actually we decided to nip over to the border to Northumberland for a family day out this is Cragside So this is Cragside, one of my most favourite places in Northumberland. And it'd be beautiful. So this is a National Trust place here in the UK and you can see what kind of a lovely spring morning it is. It's about 10 a.m. We practically have we have this place to ourselves. That's my family. <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we've got this <laughs> pretty much as our playground just now. It's lovely, really lovely. It's not picking up the pink. Hello vlog. Hello Lucy. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's a stunning, stunning pink variation and it's just not picking it up. This is where I fall. <laughs> I 
have a lot of different pine trees growing here. Oh, that's me falling over. <laughs> I don't know whether it's going to do us justice, but these, we believe, are redwood pines. We think they are. I mean, they've got a red tinge to them. But the sun hitting the bark, it's actually breathtaking. It's lovely. The colours are stunning. You're gonna catch me falling on someone. I do. I do. <laughs> I think it's time you met David. There's David. We've had a lot of storms here in the UK um, over this winter season and yes things have lost lost their footing but um, a lot of things are still going strong oh dear what have we found how cool is that little one? Yeah. How cool is that? You can come out if you wish, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Why was it such a light push? <laughs> I really like that. And this through here is the view of um, Northumberland. Can I climb around the chair? <laughs> oh, typical Michelle vlog style. Unedited. Look at that. So this here is Northumberland. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, I can't. I've got a super steady on because I've got a wobbly hand. Okay, let's see what I can do. So this is Northumberland. And through the houses, through the trees there, you might be able to see Rothbury. see any fish but I can see tadpoles right in front of me oh there's loads of tadpoles you want to see the fish now don't you <laughs> I can't find any fish I like the lily pads I still haven't found a fish Right 
I've already edited the uh, video for our trip to Scotland and I'm using this stunning scenery right now as a way of uh, softening the blow <laughs> as a bit of an apology because I have got some footage of it but um, the uh, the camera it's really very old and it let me down and it, even the, the footage that I captured for you there's um, it goes in and out of focus and it's just it's not what I pictured I could do it's not what I wanted to do uh, it has captured the beauty but only very very uh, very that's the word I'm looking for very slightly um, so yeah here's our trip to Scotland in the van This is Loch Eck. My father-in-law is behind me over the road and uh, I married into the family. Well no, I got together with David 19 years ago. i been married for 15. Uh, aside from lockdowns I've been here every year, sometimes multiple times a year and I consider myself really very lucky to be able to look out the window and take this view in the wet hair I've just been in the shower I think I'm actually I'm steaming up a little bit <laughs> all right so we've dropped Amy and Lucy off to um, their auntie's house uh, the reason being is we're not set up for um, the girls to sleep out here we don't have an awning or anything like that for the for the camper van and this just sleeps too um, behind me are the Oak Hills uh, like I said in Clackman in Shire um, uh, this is quite a, a heavily populated area um, but my sister-in-law has this view um, out of her living room window so it's, uh, it's a re really nice, really nice place um, yeah so the plan for the rest of the, the day is to go back over there um, we're going to have Syrian food um, I'm not recording um, with the family because I haven't I haven't asked them, but I also don't want them to know that I'm on YouTube. Um, I, th I feel like it would be an invasion of my privacy, and if if I knew that family were watching, I would clam up 
I, I already struggle as it is and if I knew that what people I knew were watching that would be really difficult. I can't see. I'm steaming up. <laughs> um, so yes, this is where we'll be spending a couple of nights. It was a peculiar weekend really because we'd left my father-in-law, we'd spent some time with him along Loch Eck and um, that morning we had um, a really good discussion about how he lives frugally, out of necessity really. Um, he was telling me how he uses toilet roll inners as moulds to pour his wax and how he um, cuts um, little bits of hessian and melts wax around them for the um oh what's it called the wick the candle wick it was fascinating how he does it um and then we said our goodbyes traveled an hour eastwards to my my sister-in-law's house where they have technology galore their whole lives are are center around uh virtual reality headsets, um, Xbox, they have two Xboxes, they have gaming PCs, laptops, um, they have a robot Hoover, a vacuum cleaner, which also can be programmed to um, wash the kitchen floor. It's a completely different, completely different, um, it, it, it was surreal how quickly it all changed. Um, I will... <laughs> I'll insert some footage about what happens when you put someone like me into a virtual reality headset and throw them out of a plane. weekend we were explaining to my brother-in-law um, that we intended to get some a couple of chickens uh, for eggs and manure purposes and his response was simplify your life what are you going to do that for simplify your life and, and of course my channel's called a simple life and I actually spiralled into a lot of thoughts about what it was that we were doing. And I'm okay now, but I needed to 
process what he meant about simplifying his life and how I simplify my life. Now, for me, I like to be involved and do everything. I like to cut out the middleman. I like to know that I have a source of protein in my garden. And with an interest in, in permaculture, I like to know that the manure, the compost that I put on my vegetables doesn't have any pesticides. You know, I, I could I could ream off a lot of, of reasons why I find this being more simple, a more simple way of life. Anyway, his response was, you can buy that. You can buy eggs. You can buy um, manure, chicken manure pellets. You can even buy organic if you really want to, Michelle. And yeah, you can. You, you absolutely can. And I think for them to simplify their life, they buy everything. They have somebody else do the work. They have machines to do the work. And it, it, it's each way, it, you know, it, 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 it's just preference, isn't it? It's just preference. But I just... I did have to question whether my way was a simple way. And I've come to the conclusion that, yes, it is. We're all different and none of it matters. <laughs> all right then. Um, the last little bit is of Lucy and I going on a walk to find some horses. And I seem to have got us a little bit lost. Lucy and I are. There's Lucy. Hi. <laughs> Lucy and I are off for a walk. Um, we're off for a walk to find some horses. I think after the weekend it was a it was a um, technology field weekend for the girls, and then we, Lucy in particular has uh, found it hard. It's slightly depressed, slightly bored. Um, so she, we've just we've just been working on occupying her, grounding her in our not quite so tech household. We haven't walked this route before, and I'm hopeless. <laughs> I always get us lost. We we got into trouble off the farmer last time, didn't we, Lucy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we went for a walk around around this area on Christmas Eve. And we followed the public footpath signs. But, uh, we made an error and uh, we're about to head into a farmer's field and we got into trouble. <laughs> so my, my confidence walking out on the public footpaths has uh, dwindled. And it looks like this is not the public <laughs> footpath <laughs> either. So where, we, where do we go? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, back up the track we go. We should have gone, the gate up the top of here we think we should have gone through there. So we'll go there. We'll head there now. Go on then, you lead us through and then I can blame you. That's a lovely gate actually. Okay. Oh, can I fit? <laughs> Alright then. Yes, we saw the style down the bottom, didn't we? And does this look like people's walked on these tracks? So. Let's hope so. <laughs> so Lucy, can you tell us what it is about horses that keeps you calm? I don't really know. I can't, it's not something that I can explain. It's more the just these big, free, beautiful animals that are just they do whatever they want. And they roam wherever they want, especially like wild horses. Yeah. You like the Scandinavian horses, don't you? Yeah. Swedish. Um, North Swedish horse, my favourite. I think for me, I'm um, getting into uh, grounding or earthing, I think it's also called. Oh, look, there's a footpath here, yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, Although I've got wellies on now, so it won't, it won't work at all, but I quite like the idea of using the, the ions from the earth 
magnetic field from the earth to help keep the body regulated so I'm learning a little bit about that as well but just instinctively um, being outdoors I think um, Lucy who's 13 David my husband and me all instinctively have the need to be outdoors when we start to struggle in life a 17 year old doesn't appear to be that way but we'll see as she gets as she gets older yay public footpaths are in glory yeah. That's either a tree, a horse. It's not going to be a horse. A horse in the tree. What's squeaking? I don't know. It's a tree. That tree, isn't it? Maybe we shouldn't stand here. do live right by a public footpath yeah. and it's a worn public footpath so people use it let me used to it <laughs> little pounds sadly ahead of us is the main road and we haven't found any horses yet I have no idea where we are. <laughs> um, right, I've just, <laughs> there's a sign here that tells us where we are. <laughs> and we're miles away from home, like we're in the complete opposite direction where I thought we were heading to. I mean, we can find our way back, we just go back the way we came, but. Have an adventure. Yeah, I think, I I think, I think later in there, because I don't know if that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a disaster has been averted. My husband has a tracker on Lucy's phone, so he's uh, give us some directions according to the online map where he's at his desk at work. And we're hunting for another footpath. It's an adventure route, isn't it? Yes. Hey, I wonder if there's wild garlic in there. Oh, that's me. You want to be that way? Yeah, but we deviate and we might get lost. <laughs> Stumbled upon quite a nice little village actually. Okay, we believe we're following another public footpath, and I think this cuts us across back to where we started. I think. <laughs> thing about being in the countryside or in the, in the UK, or rather my experience of it, there's one sign that says public, pu public, public footpath, and then there's no more instructions and you've got forks in the road and you don't know which way to go. Well... Can you see that? We found cows, but no horses yet. Now I'm in trouble <laughs> because Lucy's just had to walk up a hill. So we're having a little seat 
gonna have a banana. And I think I need some of that ground and <laughs> I think I'll take my shoes off for a bit. minutes up the hill from where we started. Lucy, what have you found? Uh, you found horses. You found a horses. You found a car. We found the horses. <laughs> oh. Well I'm going to sign off here. Thanks no ever so much. You and you fill your boots with the horses. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for watching to the end. I had no idea where this video was going to take us. I have no idea if it's entertaining or not. But um, we've enjoyed ourselves, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. We have. Right then, let's flip this. Bye, Lou. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.